Okay, story's all A-rolled and B-rolled. Now we just have to add some finishing touches and get it exported. To uh, fix the audio, we'll just want to click in here, select everything except for that pad at the beginning in the slate. We don't need that. We're going to go into the effects over here, click on compressor, and we'll double click it. And as you see up here, that added the compressor, and we're going to leave that on default for right now. What the compressor does is just evens out the audio, makes it all nice and smooth within each individual clip. We'll still have to go back and adjust the clips, and uh, we can see if we first, um, while we're in here, we can shift Z makes our whole timeline fit. It zooms the timeline to fit in, in there. And then click on this little button down here, and I can change the clip height. I want to get a little more control over what I'm doing here. And now we can start to see these waveforms here that show us kind of how loud our, our volume is. Now one thing we'll want to make sure is that we're not just looking at right here where it says 0 dB. I don't want to just change the decibels. I don't want to bring this down to negative 12. I would not want to do that. What I want to look at is the audio meter over here. If you don't see your audio meter, click in this part right over here and that will either hide or show the audio meter on the big meter. So now I'm going to hit play and I'm going to look at my audio levels. You can see I've got my voice in channel on the left channel which is channel 1 and I got my NAT sounds in the right channel. I should be peaking right around negative 12 so the, the left channel is close but my NAT sounds should be peaking at negative 30 so they're way too high and I can see that this this audio level here is pretty high. I'm going to just click on this one track and bring that down a few decibels and go back and play it. On Tuesday night, the women of Delta... Still a little high. On Tuesday night, the women of Delta Zeta teamed up... So that's right about where that should be. Now this is where this visual waveform comes in handy because if I make these all about the same height, click there, drag that down so that these waveforms all look approximately the same height. Now you notice I'm not talking about the, the line in there, I'm talking about the drawing of the waveform. If they look like they're about the same height, then they should play back and be pretty close, and I can make some fine adjustments. Teamed up with Young America to host their annual spaghetti dinner. All the proceeds from the dinner go to the sorority's philanthropy, or charity, the Starkey Hearing Foundation. The dinner is a way for the sorority to get Greek life involved and share their cause. To become engaged, um, so actually... Those were all pretty close. This one sounds a little loud, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And you notice it cut off really roughly at the end when they started singing Last Christmas. ...involved and share their cause. See these little dots right up here? I'm going to drag one of those, this one to the left. Okay. And that's just gonna that's gonna make a fade out for me that won't cut off so sharply. And share their just to become engaged, um, so I'm gonna bring these down to a similar level. Notice I click on them first once on the click, and then click again on the the timeline. I'm gonna make them all about the same level. to donate. Along with the spaghetti dinner, the crowd got to enjoy a talent show starring members of... A little high. I'll bring that down. I'm saying it down too. To donate. Along with the spaghetti dinner, the crowd got to enjoy a talent show starring members of the Greek community. The talent show participants got to kick off the holiday season and show their skills. Well, we basically have all the members... Okay, and I can do the same thing here with the fade out, I can fade that out a little bit. I can fade this one in if I need to. And show their skills. Well, we basically have all the... Now these down here should be at negative 12, on so... On Tuesday night, the women of Delta Zeta teamed up with Young America... That one's pretty close. Um, so actually showing up, becoming um, more aware and participating... This one's a little high. Bring it down a little. showing up, becoming uh, more aware, and participating. Okay. Along with the spaghetti dinner, the crowd got to... And I can see this waveform, just looking at it, it's, it's higher than that other one. So. Along with the 
along with the spaghetti dinner, the crowd got to enjoy a talent show starring... And the, these last two are high too. We have all the members wear the Santa hats, which is kind of something Christmassy. And then a lot of the acts involved Christmas music actually. Pretty close. Whether you came for the music, the pasta, or the cause, it was a great way to bring in the Christmas cheer. With TV10 News, I'm Chelsea Sproul. The last thing on the audio I want to do, I'm going to double click right down here and drag this audio back so that there's not any extra noise after she gets done talking. I'm Chelsea Sproul. And you see how I double clicked again to close that back up. So it's all nice and neat on my timeline. I can bring this back down here to a reasonable size. I've opened up that one too. I can double click that just to bring that back together. Um, now, I, there are some things I could do. Um, I could bring this out a little bit. This is a technique called J-cut. Well, we basically have all and it's just so we hear her first and then see her. That's, that's not a bad idea. Um, well, we basically have all of the members. Because that's what r really happens in real life. When someone talks, we turn to look at them. We don't look first and then go. So it's a good idea to hear her and then see her. We can do the same over here just a, l a little bit. So. Share their thoughts. To become engaged. Um, so actually. Sh like that. We uh, are one step away from being ready to export. I'm going to select every track in here that has video. And it doesn't matter if I select those tracks that have audio too. If I wasn't already in effects, I would go into the effects thing. Type in broadcast save. I don't even have to type in all of broadcast. I just type, type in bro and it's already there. So. What I'm going to do is double click it and that adds it to all these things and you go into the video tab up here you can see that it did add it. I'm going to undo that just so you can see up here and broadcast safe is gone. I want you to look at the scopes. Remember we talked about the scopes in lab and I'm going to go into waveform monitor and make sure that I'm on luma which is the brightness. Now you can see that this is going pretty well over 100. That's illegal. So I'm going to make it broadcast safe. I'm just going to double click there and now you can see that everything on this whole timeline is down at 100 or below. That's really important before you export to make sure that you do that. Good idea to go back and play it again just so you watch it, listen to it, make sure there's no flash frames, make sure there's nothing, you know, those sort of things are important. Those things are things that you will be graded on. So make sure that it doesn't have any of them. Then you go over here to the share button, or you could go file, share. We're gonna go to the share button, and we're gonna go um, find the master file. Click on settings. Interestingly, notice in here, it's, it's got all the tags, all the keywords that you added show up in tags. So this will carry through, and, and these are searchable later. So that's good to know. Settings, gonna make sure this is on H.264 and the audio is QuickTime. I don't want to do anything here, so I'm just going to say when it's done, do nothing. And save roles as QuickTime movie. Next, I'm going to go into my folder that, that I've, is in there, my, my RAID 5. Um, you won't have the real RAID 5 up here on your final exam, so it will be on the desktop and in a folder called 2014 final exam files. RAID 5, and then you're going to save it to the archive folder. I've already got one in here. I, I tested it once, but uh, I'll save it. I'm just going to replace it because it's already there, but I'll save that. And I can see that it's exporting here. This is something that a lot of people miss. They look at their stuff and they go, well, I did it. That thing went away. I'm done. No, look at this. We're only on 8% here. So you have to make sure that you check on here look at the, the progress of background tasks and then check it out and see how, how far your sharing's done. When your sharing gets to 100%, then you'll turn it in to me. I will save your whole folder onto my portable hard drive and then you're good to go. So <laughs> enjoy the break.